guys. Um, here I am for the second time. I hope this time it will not um, just end on me. Um, okay. I'm just going to wait for a little bit for some of you guys to come on here as well. And I know that some of you have never had anything to do with hypnosis. And some of you do not have any idea what it does or what it can do and how powerful it is. So first I will explain it. Say hi if you're there. Hey, Amy. Hey, Malaya. How are you guys? Thank you for tuning in. Um, so today we're going to have a session. Hi, Helen. We're going to have a session, a hypnosis session where you can speak to your soul and where you're going to talk to you as deeply as you may not have talked to you before. My clients know how powerful this is. My clients know how life-changing this is and how much they're just like going for it afterwards. So be ready for something epic. Hi, Sophie. Um, thank you guys for coming on here. Mm. All right, so I'm going to get into the explanation of hypnosis and past life regression and everything. And after like 10 or 20 minutes, now you can start the, you should start the live um, regression or the live hypnosis with me, just because after that we can talk and I can answer your questions if you're still around, if you're still there. And the whole thing is going to take about an hour, the whole live video. So if you can make it for all of it, that would be great. And then I can speak to you after and answer all of your questions. But if you're catching the replay, that's cool too. Let me know you're catching the replay and um, post all of your questions in the group or underneath the comments so I can answer them because it's going to be a really, really, really deep session. Okay, let me get into explaining. So yesterday I explained a little bit about the subconscious and our theta brainwaves, that it's just a slow state of mind that you have to get into so you can change something um, in your brain. And hypnosis takes you to that state. Hypnosis is really nothing but a guided meditation with a purpose, like something we did yesterday, but we take you a little deeper, and the purpose right now today is to find out what really what is really holding you back, right? So that's the purpose, but it's nothing really different from what we did yesterday in the visualization. So um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to relax your mind and your body so that you can really just completely relax that your mind is not thinking anymore, it's not analyzing anymore, it's not judging anymore. And then I'm just going to give you some images um, of, um, I'm going to make it your, your favorite place in nature so everybody can have something. So I'm going, to take it, I'm going to take it to your favorite place in nature. And then I'm going to take you to a light. And that light represents our soul. Um, I'm going to be mentioning that later as well. And for those of you who don't believe in it, Either stick through it and see what happens for you, um, or just um, you know, yeah, see what see what happens. Stick with it. Um, but anyway, we can also. What I'm going to do today also is I'm going to take you to a situation, either in this life or a past life. I'm going to leave that open to your subconscious mind to decide where it's going to take you. That will help you learn the lesson you need to learn today, so you can remove what's holding you back today. And that's okay, you, so you can up level. So I'm just going to take you to, uh, through one situation and through one life, basically. And you get your subconscious will bring up whatever. But um, don't be scared because a lot of people are like, oh my God, what if it brings up something that's really difficult to deal with? Well, your subconscious mind has, it, has your values stored, has your morals stored in it, right? So it'll never bring up something that you can't handle. You are 20 years older now to handle whatever it is that you dealt with when you were five years, right? You have 20 more years of knowledge. You have 20 more years of experience, 20 more years of everything that you can take to um, work through whatever happened back then, right? To the situation where your subconscious is going to take you. That's one thing. Also, what do we as humans want? We want to be happy and we want to survive, right? So your subconscious mind has that stored. So it's never going to bring you anything that you're not ready to handle or that's not going to make you happy at the end of the day. And that's why these past life regressions, when I do them, are so powerful as well. But some of you may um, go back to a current life issue and some of you may go back into a past life. Just don't be surprised if it is a past life. 
And past lives, also, I want to um, give a quick um, proof why um, or how people have proven it today. So, you know, when you have a near death experience, maybe some of you have had one, maybe some of you know someone that has had one, but all of you heard about that light, that light which I'm going to take you to, which is your soul, which is in between lives, that light. And also everybody who has had a near death experience is talking about either a tunnel or a bridge that they're crossing to get to that light. So, um, and then when they were dead, when they were dead on the um, surgery table or when they were dead in a car accident or whatever, when they were proven to be dead, these people who came back to life after would prove that they have seen, like they had seen everything that was going on from above. And then there was one lady, she was in the hospital and she was dead, uh, she was dead on a surgery table um, she was dead for like seven minutes, right? So she went above the hospital and she read a 10 digit number from an air conditioning that was there, like an air conditioning um, barcode that was there. And then she told it to the people after she woke up again, after she woke up from being dead, basically. So, and what's the, what's the um, possibility of you remembering a 10 digit number? It's random, right? Like there's, it's like one in a billion or something. Anyway, that's one proof that past life regression is true or past lives are true and exist. The other proof is that a lot of people who are doing past life regression nowadays with me or with somebody else, they're all saying the same thing. They're all going to the light again. They're all saying that we as souls advance and we have in each life, we have a biggest purpose to fulfill. We all have to learn smaller little lessons and smaller little purposes. But our life's purpose is the biggest one, and it's a lesson we have to learn. And when have you proven that you've learned a lesson? When you can teach it, right? So we're going to also take you to your soul, and we're going to ask your soul what your life's, what your soul's purpose is in this life. And we're going to, um, no, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, we're going to ask for your soul's purpose, and it's going to be a big concept. So like love, truth, freedom, whatever. And then um, whenever, like most of the time, your whole life will make sense after, after that lesson is like, or after you, you found out about that soul purpose, you're going to be like, oh my God, ah, now my life makes sense. I understand why I have my parents. I understand why I've had these boyfriends that I've had or whatever. So it's, it's a really beautiful way to just um, find out more about yourself and about life also. And then your we're going to ask also, we're going to ask your soul what is holding you back and what you can do, what you can let go of and what you can do about what is holding you back. And then what else are we going to ask? And then I'm just going to leave it open. I'm going to um, basically let you ask your soul a question, whatever it is that you want to ask. So in preparation for this hypnosis, I want you guys to either have what is holding you back in mind and set the intention before we start, set the intention, okay, today I'm going to get rid of whatever is holding me back, whether I know about this or not. I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to deal with it and I'm going to know how to deal with it. I want you to set this intention. Let's make this really clear. Have an intention before you're going into the hypnosis. Also, if you don't know exactly what is holding you back, set the intention. I don't know what is holding me back. But today I'm going to find out and I'm going to able I'm going to be able to deal with it and I'm going to be able to let it go. Set this intention and you're going to be fine. So doing this as a group hypnosis, I cannot guide you through whatever is happening. I cannot guide you through every single step. Sometimes I will be faster than you and whatever is coming to you will come to you after. But then it's also important that after this hypnosis, you're going to write everything down. So you may want to grab, you may want to go and grab a journal, grab a pen as I drink something real quick. Or even your phone, if you just want to journal in your phone. But that's really good because I've had clients journal like one and a half hours after this or two even. So journaling is really, really great. Okay, then um, we can get started. 
with this hypnosis if you have your journal and your intention. So now I'm going to give you about a minute to set your intention. I'm just going to wait and I will call you back to start. You can also write the intention down. That's always great. We have about halfway through. Okay, great. Then I hope everybody set their intention. Everybody's got their journal. And now we're going to get started um, by you just closing your eyes. Closing your eyes and taking a deep breath in. Fill your lungs with air and breathe out everything that is no longer serving you. Take one more deep breath in. And breathe out everything that is no longer serving you. And then here we go one more time. Take the deepest breath in that you've taken in all day. And breathe out everything that is no longer serving you. And now go ahead and let your breath return back to normal. And just keep breathing with absolute ease. And you're going to keep breathing with ease and with every single breath that you're taking you're going to relax further and further and in a moment i'm going to ask you to start tensing your muscles and paradoxically your muscles will let go of any tension by tensing the muscles and then relaxing them Focusing on the muscular tension and enjoying the relief of relaxation when you're letting go of this tension. So let's start with your hands now. Make a fist with each hand and tense every single muscle in your hands. Tense all of your fingers a little more. Squeeze them a bit more. And now release, let go and relax and focus on this wonderful feeling that the relaxation is bringing you. And now you're going to do the same thing with your biceps while leaving your hands completely relaxed. So bend your arms now and focus on your biceps. Tense the muscles in your biceps a little more and a little tighter and now release let go and just relax let your arms go now and put your hands next to you again palms facing upward and start focusing on your triceps tense the muscles in your triceps a little more and a tiny bit more and a little bit tighter and now release let go and just relax now do the same thing with your neck and your shoulders tense all the muscles in your neck and your shoulders and squeeze even more and tighter and tighter and just a little bit more and release let go and just relax let all the tension drain away now and now we're moving on to your feet and your calves so find a way to tense every single one of your toes now and your calves as well Tense all the muscles in your toes and your calves. 
tighter and tighter and just a little bit more. And release, let go, and just relax. Let all the tension just float away. And now, go ahead and tense your hands, your thighs, and your bottom. Tense every single muscle in your hands, thighs, and bottom even more. And more, and a bit tighter. And release, let go, and relax. And lastly, you're going to tense your face. So find a way to tense your jaw, squeeze your eyes closed, tense your eyes and your cheeks a little bit more, tighter, that's right, and now release, let go, and relax, very good. So now, after tensing all your muscles, you can really enjoy this relief of relaxation. This amazing and warm feeling of relaxation that is floating inside your body. This amazing feeling of relaxation that you know so well by now. Because you've come to know that this relaxation will bring the joys of your subconscious mind closer and closer to you. You're slowing down with every breath, every heart beat, going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Go ahead and notice where in your body you feel the deepest relaxation. Which one of your body parts is relaxed the most? Find this part and imagine a warm, comfortable, protective light coming out from it that is being sent throughout your whole body so that all of your body, every single part is warm and protected. And now see or feel or imagine a beautiful staircase in front of you that will be leading you down to a door with white light shining through it underneath. Make this staircase however you like it. You are in control. Feel your feet against the material of the staircase and see the staircase's color. Give the staircase 10 steps. And with each step that I'm going to count, you will walk down one step and you will go deeper and deeper into relaxation. 10, going deeper and deeper. 9, this relaxation feels so amazing that 8, you want to relax even more. 7, deeper and deeper. 6, to where you're five, subconscious, four, does not mind getting deeper and deeper into relaxation. Two, relaxing further and further. One, feeling as relaxed as you've never felt before. And zero, standing in front of the door with the white light shining through it from underneath. Go ahead and open that door to your subconscious now and find yourself in a beautiful white room. A white room with a comfortable chair where you can sit down. In front of you, a movie screen will pop up and on that movie screen is your favorite place in nature. It is your favorite place in nature and you just can't wait to go in, in there and be there. 
So go ahead now and step into that movie screen and be at your favorite place in nature. Feel the sun rays on your skin. Feel a little breeze on your skin. Just set the perfect temperature for you. See your, your favorite plants around you in that favorite place of nature of yours. And hear the sounds, whether it's waves or birds or just the wind or nothing. And see the beautiful colors of your favorite place in nature and take in the smells. And now you see another movie screen popping up in front of you. And on this scene, you will see a scene or a moment of this life where you felt really amazing and comfortable and confident and safe. So just watch that scene at this moment or that moment of this life where you felt really comfortable, secure, safe, confident, just really good, just a really good memory. And know that you can return to this memory at any time during this hypnosis, whenever you need to. And then this movie screen in front of you is turning into a mirror. And this mirror is reflecting you. It's reflecting you. And then this mirror will reflect you getting younger and younger. You see yourself getting younger and younger. One year younger. Two years. 10 years younger and younger and younger. 10 years old, nine, eight, seven, six, five years old. Four, three, two, one year old. Going back to your mother's womb. Going back to a time before that. And now all that you can see in that mirror is a white light. So go ahead and step into that mirror, knowing that this white light is pure love. This white light is pure energy. It's pure consciousness. It's just pure peace. Feel that light inside you. Feel that light surrounding you. Just feel the beauty of this light and just feel really good and comfortable because this light means love, it means peace, it means beauty, it just means good, pure good and pure and unconditional love. You are one with everything now and everything is one with you. And now with that light in mind and with that light surrounding you and inside you. I want you to go ahead and go back to a scene or a moment in this life or a past life that is going to help you figure out what is holding you back and that is going to help you to let go of whatever it is that is holding you back from up leveling. When I count from five to zero, by the time I count to zero, you will be at that situation in this life or a past life that will teach you the lesson that you need to learn today so you can up level to the next level of your life. Five, that scene in this life or a past life is coming closer and closer to you. Four, the life is becoming clearer and clearer. Three, the moment is coming nearer and nearer. Two, the scene is becoming clearer. One, you are now in the body and everything is clear. And zero, be there now and just observe.
Don't analyze anything. We can do that later. So just observe. And look down at your shoes. What kind of shoes are you wearing? And look up and see the clothes that you're wearing. And notice what life you're in. Is it this life or is it a past life? Does it seem like a past life? Does it seem like a future life, perhaps? And notice what is going on around you, where you are, who you're with. Just take a moment and observe. And I'll give you just a moment. And then now notice how you feel. Do you feel good? Do you not feel so good? Do you feel safe? Do you feel confident? Just allow yourself to feel and maybe feel where you're feeling that inside your body. And just know that some people feel more, others hear more, and others see more. So it doesn't matter what your sense is that you're most comfortable with and whatever is coming to you. Just trust it, trust the images, trust the sounds, trust the feelings, because it will help you to let you know whatever is holding you back from up-leveling. And it will help you to find that confidence to really up-level in your life. And now, when I count from zero to three, I want you to move forward in this life that you're just shown. And I want you to see the next relevant scene. And if it stays the same scene, that's okay. It's totally fine. But just move on. But when I've counted to three, you will have moved on to the next relevant scene of this life that you're seeing right now. So zero, go ahead and move further and further ahead in this life that you're seeing right now to the next relevant scene. One, that lesson that you need to learn today is becoming clearer and clearer with that scene that is also becoming clearer and clearer. Two, the moment or the situation that's coming closer and closer to you. And three, you are able to see the next relevant scene in this life. And you're able to see what's going on and you're able to look down at your shoes and see what shoes you're wearing. You can look up at what kind of clothes you're wearing. And you can just, again, observe whatever is coming to you. Just observe. Notice what is around you. Notice the time and space that you're in. Maybe you know the year. Notice the people around you, what they're saying. And notice how you're feeling. Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you motivated? Are you going somewhere? What is happening in that scene? Just observe. I'm going to give you a few more moments to observe. And now, by the time I come from zero to three, I will take you to the light and we will ask the light why it showed you this particular life and this particular scene and this particular moment, okay? So, zero, moving further and further along in this life that you were just shown, 
you can see all the lessons in this life that you have learned and you are returning back to the light you can just see that life floating away floating away from that body you are returning to the light one the light is becoming brighter and brighter two you're starting to feel the love and the peace that is coming from that light and three you are now again one with the light you feel the light you are the light and that light is pure knowing pure consciousness and pure love so to just know it has all the answers for you and now if you ask that light ask the light what is holding you back from up leveling and what did that scene have to do with the lesson you needed to learn today or you need to learn today what did that what did these scenes that you just saw what does that have to do with what you're learning and figuring out in this challenge today i'm going to give you a little time to observe whatever is coming to you again trust the images trust the thoughts trust the feelings trust the sounds Okay, great. Now, we're just asking, what is holding you back from up-leveling to the next, to take that next step in your life? What is holding you back? What do you need to let go of? You can ask the light. Dear light, what is holding me back? from up-leveling in my life? What is holding me back from taking that next step? Just ask the light and trust that it has the answer. And again, I will give you a few moments to just observe whatever is coming to you. And now you can ask the light, what can I do within the next few days in this challenge to step into my next level me? What can I do within the next few days in this challenge to become the person that I want to become? What do I need to do? And then the next question is, what can I do within the next three months to fully up-level, to fully become my next level me, to fully be the person that I want to be, to fully improve myself to that next level, to take myself up these next steps? What can I do within the next three months? I'll give you time to observe the answer. Now I want you to feel the light again. Feel the light inside you, the light surrounding you. Feeling that love, that comfort, that peace, that beauty, that knowing, that beautiful, beautiful light. The light inside you, the light around you, and the light inside you that knows everything. So let's ask the light, let's ask the light, what is your soul's purpose in this life? Why? Are you here on earth? 
Why did you choose this body? Why did you come here to earth? What did you come here to learn? I'm going to give you a few moments to observe this. And trust images, trust feelings, trust whatever you hear. Maybe you can say a word out loud, whatever you're hearing. Beautiful. So now, whatever question that you want to ask the light, ask this question now, whatever it is, and ask it for an answer to whatever it is that you want to know. Just going to give you a few more moments because I know sometimes it can take time. All right. I know you love the light. And I know you love being there, but now it is time for me to bring you back. And by the time I count from one to five, by the time I've counted to five, I'm going to bring you back into this time, this place, this body. And you will feel refreshed and rejuvenated and you'll be wide awake and you'll feel happy. And you'll just feel peaceful and good and loving. One, coming back into this body, coming back into this time, coming back into this space, remembering everything that you've seen, remembering everything that you've heard and that you've felt. Two, all the energy is coming back to your body. You can wiggle your toes and your fingers. And three, you can take a big stretch a big big stretch and four you can take a deep breath in fill it with all the love fill it with all the greatness and the success that is awaiting you and breathe out everything that is no longer serving you and five wide awake eyes open feeling refreshed feeling happy feeling rejuvenated feeling amazing feeling loved, feeling great. And I see that I have a few of you still with me. If you want to go journal, go journal. If you want to stick with it, then let me know and um, I can answer all of your questions right now. And if not, then I'm going to sign off and wait for everybody's questions. I think everybody's just like still recovering from, from the light and everything. Nobody's saying anything. Okay. Actually here. Okay. I see. Oh my God. So many people joined. Um, all right. If I don't get a question from anyone right now, then I would love for you guys Um just to let me know how you like this hypnosis. Let me know how you like meeting your soul, what came out for you. If you want to post this in the group, please post it in a group. If you want to talk to me in, in private, message me. I would love to hear what came up for you. Um, yeah, just let me know. And I see all you guys joined. Hi, Karen. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Aristide. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Simone. And yeah, enjoy the hypnosis and really... Let me know what happens. Like, I'm so curious. And uh, then I will see you tomorrow at 6.30. Tomorrow is going to be the day where we
take out everything that was um, holding you back and we fill it with confidence and with light and with all the good stuff so you can move on to be that next level you. That's happening tomorrow. That's also going to be hypnosis. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Love you and see you tomorrow.